All right, guys. So like I said, I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm not going to give you the answer because again, this is an assessment, but I did want to show you that it can be done. I turned off the camera and I went through and I figured it out. Um, and if I can figure it out, anybody can figure it out. So there you go. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's what it does look like. Um, and you are going to do one thing in the index file and leave the rest of it alone. Then you're going to come into the style file and that's where the magic is going to happen. So um, a hint, you are not going to manually rearrange all of these pictures, which is what some of my students did. Um, there is a way to code it to get the pictures in the order that they need to be in. So that's a hint. There you go. Um, and on we go to the next level. So if I press finish here, it's going to take me to the reflection piece. So this is eight. Um, and then this basically says, uh, take a minute to reflect on the last level where you were tasked with putting images inside of a div container and then using Flexbox to define the correct layout and answer the following questions. How do you think you did according to the rubric below and why? How did you know how to complete this assessment? What was easy about the task? What was the most challenging? What did you do to overcome the challenging part? And what questions do you still have? So I'm going to take these and I'm going to put this in here. A lot of people will just, a lot of my students just said, I believe I earned a, and then fill in the blank. And then they press enter, that submit. That's not what this is actually asking. This is actually asking for you to think about it. So what do you, how do, did, okay, so where am I? There we go. So how do you think you did according to the rubric below and why? I believe I earned a blank because, and then you talk about why, right? Um, how did you know how to complete this assessment? Um, for me personally, I looked at the cheat sheet handout. That says chat, but I looked at the cheat sheet handout. Um, the tips. And I did go back and look at the previous level with... Mario and Luigi um, because if you remember Mario and Luigi the pictures were not in order there either and so I went back and I looked at that so I went back and I looked at what what I've already done um, what was easy about the task um, for me personally what was easy about it was set, uh, for me setting up the oh, I can't type the div tags was the easy part I knew how to do that um, same thing with the class uh, to set up the container and then what was the most challenging part the most challenging part for me was uh, honestly setting up the justify and align to work correctly and I mean that makes sense because that's what I've learned in this lesson so what did you do to overcome the challenging part? Again, um, I went back and looked at my resources. The resources really will help you. I promise they will. So what questions do I still have? Um, how can, um, how can I get more help? Not more, more help, more, uh, practice for these skills. So that I can really build, uh, so that I can build muscle memory. Because that's the thing. Um, so with muscle memory, what I mean by that is that you look at it and you're like, oh yeah, here's here's what I need. I need center. I need flex start. I need flex end. I need align content versus align items. Uh, practice and practice and practice is what you need so that you're able to really understand without having to spend too much time thinking about it. So that would be my question. Um, and luckily enough, level nine is gonna give me some more practice. So here we go, I'm gonna submit that. Um, and uh, here we go, challenge level, so I'll see you there.